Greetings YouTube and goodbye Tumblr. I don't know how many of you out there have used Tumblr. I visit quite a few Tumblr pages on a regular basis. Um, I think I'm only subscribed to one or two just because I, like, I know the people. Um, and one of them I'm subscribed to is a person that I'm no longer associated with. So I, I don't, don't, uh, don't even know if I know how to unsubscribe. Obviously, I have a Tumblr page. Um, I originally thought of using Tumblr as a platform for posting my old weapon sketches, but I discovered that I don't like the Tumblr interface. I find it very unintuitive. It is not user-friendly. Remember, when someone says something is intuitive when it comes to digital devices, it means like something you've used before, so it will be very easy for you to use now. The problem is, is there are lots of platforms that I've never used before. So I go in cold on a lot of things. And if something isn't actually user-friendly, it isn't intuitive. So I, I can't use it. Um, and so there are very rarely ever some any any built-in tutorials on a lot of different uh, sites. So I've never used Tumblr a whole lot. Um, mostly it just sits there, and now it's going to continue to sit there. I'm not going to bother to delete it, but um, it's going to become far less relevant in the near future because Tumblr has decided to commit seppuku. Now, the idea behind their current changes, which is to remove adult content, has been has been to make it more attractive to investors. And this is, to me, a lot like thinking, I know what I'll do. There's this door here. If I open this door, there will be treasure on the other side. So I'm going to wedge this nuclear warhead into the door and then detonate it. And to make sure it doesn't get tampered with, I'm going to stand right next to it. Because this is blowing up in their face, and they're not achieving their goal. The treasure on the other side of that door is gone. Because you see, investors aren't interested in the content of Tumblr. Investors are interested in the user base. Remember, Tumblr, like YouTube... Um, is free. And so, just as on YouTube, we're the product, on Tumblr, the user base is the product. And the policies they're enacting on December 17th are alienating so many users that people are abandoning Tumblr in droves. Um, I've already encountered, I think, almost a dozen Tumblr pages that are just gone since the announcement. And a whole lot of people are moving to other platforms. One of the platforms that has opened its arms to Tumblr's um, exiles is Pornhub, which made me smile. Because obviously that's a location to go for the, peop the, the, the adult content, but they're also opening their arms to everyone else. Because you don't need to post adult content on Pornhub. Of course, if you don't want to go to a Pornhub, and I can understand why you would not necessarily want to go to Pornhub if you are not actually producing adult material. Um, there are other locations, for example, if you're posting just nudes, um, you'd always put those on DeviantArt. That's not a problem at all. Um, I see nudes on DeviantArt all, all the time. I see things that, that are rather occasionally rather graphic, though they're not pornographic. They are sometimes rather graphic when it comes to nudes, and they're considered okay on DeviantArt because they do have age restriction character uh, features built in. Like, for example, I can see anything I went to, I'm 54. Uh, of course, it's not difficult to get around age restriction features, but, you know, that's the nature of the Internet. What was it? The UK instituted some anti-porn measures, and three hours after they launched them, some 16-year-old had to already cracked them? Yeah, it isn't going to happen. Um, another problem with the, ins the policies that are being instituted in Tumblr is that they're being instituted in a very bad way. Pages that have zero adult content are having some of their content removed. I mean, pages that have never, ever had content are having their content removed. One of the problems with this is that they're using algorithms to figure out what is and what isn't adult content. Uh, recently, the UK attempted to institute some new policies on graphic material. I'm not sure where. Um, well, one of the problems they had is that their anti-porn or anti-nudes 
algorithms were flagging pictures of the desert as being nudes because sand dunes are sensuous curves and they're skin toned. So yeah, if you want to do this and do it right, you need humans. And of course, Tumblr doesn't want to use humans because humans are expensive. They'd rather use algorithms, which are there in theory is are cheap, but are screwing up their entire user base and making people run away screaming into the night. So, fail on YouTube's, I'd rather fail on Tumblr's part. They're just scaring away the user base. That is the reason investors might be interested in Tumblr. And I don't even have a degree in marketing. I don't have an MBA. And I could figure this stuff out. So you'd think that the folks with the useless MBAs that work in marketing would have figured out this as well. That by scaring away their user base, they make themselves less attractive to investors. Now, maybe some smart investors might snatch up Tumblr cheap as it burns and crashes, and then reinstitute an open door policy allowing adult content back in, and thus sniping you uh, Tumblr off the market? Maybe? Possibly? Who knows? Investors are evil. Um, so yeah. I'm not understanding the strategy behind this Tumblr decision. I'm not understanding the strategy of trying to sanitize the internet. It isn't going to happen. And people want nudity. People want porn. And people that produce nude images and produce adult content have a right to exist. And they should be allowed to conduct business. And they were providing lots of free content for Tumblr. That was attracting a lot of eyeballs, which means a lot of attention to ads and a lot of attractive user users for investors to be interested in. To me, to me, this is a fail, fail, fail. On every front, this was a failure. And I don't get it. And I hope somebody at Tumblr gets canned for this. And they're going to lose a lot of money, and they're not going to be worth as much as they think they are. And it just baffles me. So if anybody out there has any idea why Tumblr would do something this dumb, tell me. Maybe there are some people out there that have MBAs. I'm sorry that you wasted your time achieving that particular goal. Um, they could explain this to me. Um, if you hadn't figured out, I don't have much respect for marketing or people with MBAs because um, time deciding to tie your existence to capitalism like that, to my mind, is just kind of sad. But it is what it is. So, any of, any of you out there have Tumblr pages? Are you leaving? Are you just going to leave them moribund? Um, how many people do you know have, that have exited Tumblr already? Um, let's talk about the death of Tumblr, because it's about to become about as relevant <coughs> as MySpace.